Hello, this is Kevin Ripa, and this is my sans three minute max. Uh, in a previous uh, three minute max, we talked about what the adversary is trying to do when they get in your environment. But I want to go one step before that, and I want to talk about something that applies to everybody in the information security digital forensics field. We all have a job because of our users. No matter what they do, that's what we're trying to either protect the world, uh, uh, protect the environment uh, and our users, or we want to, uh, it, we need to investigate our users. Whatever the case may be, our users drive everything that we do. And I get pretty frustrated uh, whether I'm, uh, you know, I might be teaching, I might be talking to colleagues, I may be doing various things, and I hear the same refrain all the time those darn users. If it wasn't for those crazy users, my job would be so much easier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those users are the reason you have a job. Stop beating up on your users. You know, we talk about, oh, if I could just get these users to stop clicking on this or clicking on that. Whoa, hold on. You mean to tell me that you wish there was a way to stop the users from doing what the users are getting paid to do. Ah, I see. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, you're not gonna stop the users from doing what they get paid to do. Someone in accounting, it's their job to open up invoices and open up attachments. They're supposed to click. And so you say, yeah, but Kevin, there's like obvious things that they shouldn't click on. They should know better. Really? Compared to what? That's easy for you to say because this is your business. This is what you know. Stop beating up on your users. Your users are the reason you have a job. And every time you start getting frustrated with the users, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go out and I want you to thank the first user you see, thank them for your job security because that's why you have a job. How about instead of blaming the users for clicking, we figure out ways that we can protect our environment from after the point that they click. Remember, prevention is ideal, but detection is a must. You know, it's been put uh, much better, I think, in the words of my brother from another mother, Brian Simon. And Brian Simon says this, forget about that old mantra, this is the new one. Security will fail, you will fail. The important thing is timely detection and timely response. You can't wait six months to catch the evil. You have to detect it immediately. Start putting detections in place that will detect evil moving around in your environment, both from the InfoSec side and start looking for this on the DFER side. Thank you for joining me. I will see you tomorrow.